It's now been four days into the summer transfer window, so here's the latest news and rumours so far. Martin Tyler has officially left Sky Sports after 30 years with Peter Drury replacing him in the commentary box. Martin Tyler's historic commentary on the Aguero goal will be ingrained into the history books forever. Manchester United are preparing to make a £45 million bid for Jordan Pickford. The England number one is said to be top of Eric Ten Hag's list of potential replacements for David De Gea as the Spaniards' contract stalemate continues. Sticking with Manchester United, they are expected to make an improved £50 million offer for Chelsea's midfielder Mason Mount this week. Chelsea rejected United's opening £40 million bid last week. According to French publication RMC, Paris Saint-Germain have held initial talks with Mikel Arteta over the Arsenal manager potentially becoming the club's new head coach. That comes after negotiations with former Bayern Munich boss Julian Nagelsmann broke down. Sunderland have announced the signing of striker Semedo on a five-year contract from Portuguese side Benfica. The 19-year-old arrives for an undisclosed fee, having featured for their B team and under-23 side over the last two seasons, scoring 28 goals in 61 appearances. Dejan Kuliseski has completed a permanent transfer to Tottenham from Juventus. The Sweden international arrived in North London on an 18-month loan in January 2022 and has been influential during what has been a difficult period for Spurs. It's reported that it will cost Spurs £29.9 million if certain conditions are met. Man City defender Karl Walker is being closely monitored by Bayern Munich, according to Sky in Germany. Walker, who is now 33, has one year left on this deal at the Etihad and could be leaving City this summer after being left on the bench for the Champions League final win over Inter Milan earlier this month. Bayern Munich have issued a hands-off warning to Manchester City and Barcelona as the duo IMU for Joshua Kimmich. The 28-year-old has become subject to interest from both clubs following a remarkable career with Bayern, winning eight Bundesliga titles as as well as the Champions League. Arsenal are said to be very confident that they will complete the signings of Kai Havertz and Declan Rice this summer. Arsenal will bid again for Havertz after seeing their bid get rejected by Chelsea. There's no chance Arsenal will meet the £75 million price tag, but it's reported that Chelsea can be flexible with negotiations. N'Golo Kante is closing in on a move to Saudi Arabian side, al Ittihad. The Chelsea's midfielder contract was due to expire at the end of June. And Marcus Rashford will become Manchester United's top earner with a new £375 thousand-pound a week deal. Brentford have confirmed the permanent signing of Romeo Beckham from Inter Miami on a one-year contract with club options of an additional year. The 20-year-old was part of the B-team squad that went on to lift the Premier League Cup in May. In total, he featured 15 times, scoring one goal. Romelu Lukaku wants to stay at Inter Milan after the end of his season-long loan from Chelsea this summer. The 30-year-old who scored 10 goals in Serie A last season is aware of potentially lucrative offers from Saudi Arabia, but his number one priority is to stay at Inter. Chelsea have ended their interest in Inter Milan goalkeeper Andre Onana. The Blues are keen to sign a new goalkeeper this summer to compete with Kepa Arizabalaga, with Eduard Mendy set to leave. Maitland Niles has been released by Arsenal, bringing his 19 year association with the club to an end. The 25 year old is among the 13 players released by the Gunners. Leicester want £12.8 million to sell Timothy Castagna this summer. Arsenal have been linked with the fullback, while Juventus have already opened talks to sign him. Sergio Mane has hinted he may be tempted by a transfer to Newcastle after responding never say never when asked about a move to the Magpies. The Senegal international left the Premier League last summer when he joined Bayern Munich from Liverpool, but a difficult year in Germany has raised question marks about his future. Manchester United have been offered the chance to sign £80 million rated Portugal striker Gonzalo Ramos. From Benfica, United boss Eric Ten Hag is on the lookout for another forward next season, as signing top target Harry Kane from Tottenham looks unlikely. Benfica will not accept anything less than £80 million after selling Darwin Nunes to Liverpool last summer for £85 million. And Chelsea are in talks with Villarreal over signing forward Nicholas Jackson. Reports say Chelsea have activated the €35 million Euro release clause. Jackson was close to joining Bournemouth in January, but a hamstring injury stopped the move. Paris Saint-Germain are prepared to sell Kylian Mbappe to Manchester United this summer should the Qatari back takeover bid prove successful, according to the Daily Mirror. According to the report, Mbappe will not sign the one year contract extension in his PSG contract, meaning that his deal will expire in 12 months. Saudi Pro League side Al Hilal are interested in Chelsea's defender Kalidou Koulibaly after his disappointing season with the London club. Al Hilal have submitted a huge bid to sign Ruben Neves from Wolves. Negotiations are currently underway as Wolves prefer to sell the midfielder immediately 
after waiting too long for Barcelona to make a move. According to Fabrizio Romano, there's a concrete chance for Thomas Partey to leave Arsenal this summer. Clubs are interested in the Ghanaian, and there are discussions about his exit with the potential of Declan Rice arriving. Partey's current contract is expiring in June 2025, and no talks have been discussed to extend his stay at the Emirates. The agreement between Bayern and Kim Min Jae is at final stages. He's prepared to accept a five-year deal. Kim's release clause at Napoli will become valid on July 1st. West Ham are preparing their first approach for Fulham, Zhuang's Paulinha. With Declan Rice close to a move away from the Hammers, Paulinha is their top target as his replacement. Al Nassar are advancing in talks to sign Hakim Ziyech from Chelsea. The Moroccan missed out on a move to Paris Saint-Germain over the winter transfer window, but negotiations are underway between both parties. Bayern have completed documents for Rafael Guerrero signing a contract until June 2026, with an official statement expected next week. Chelsea have received three loan requests from championship clubs for Italian midfielder Cesar Casade, who performed magnificently in the under-20s World Cup. However, Chelsea are keen to see him loaned out to a Premier League club to help with his development. Chelsea have inquired on Spanish talent Gabri Vega's release clause. He is also a player that Liverpool is following. With Declan Rice nearing a £100 million move to Arsenal, do you think he's worth that much? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like to support the channel and if you want to stay up to date with the latest football news and rumours then make sure to subscribe to the channel.